How are you? Good to see you too. Can you come in? Of course, thank you. <laughs> Marie, you've been with us for 26 years. Yes. What brought you to Gertha? Uh, by coming in here one day to leave in some, some stuff for Gertha, and I met the lady at the counter asked me would I think of being, becoming a volunteer. So I said, I'll think about it. So a week later, I came in and I said, yes, I enjoy it. And all our customers that are coming in have been coming, some of them, as long as I'm here. Fantastic. They love to come in for chat and laugh. And then on top of that, I think that uh, the cause that we're working for is what uh, I think everybody wants. I think for people to be self-sufficient is the main object of this. And that is what we want. Well, I think you epitomise the spirit of our volunteers, uh, having, having given 26 years uh, of your life as, as a volunteer. And we have volunteers throughout the country yes. who, like yourself, yeah. have been incredibly generous with mm. their time. And I can tell you, it's greatly appreciated. And just to say, well, well done. We're here in the offices of Volunteer Ireland, celebrating the contribution that volunteers make to Gertha. They are the heartbeat of our organisation, but not just our organisation, organisations right across the community and voluntary sector. And with me this morning is Yvonne McKenna, CEO of Volunteer Ireland. I'd like to ask Yvonne, what has the legacy been of European Year of the Volunteer? Okay, well, I suppose, Brian, at this stage, it's a bit difficult to say what the, the legacy will be. Um, in some respects, the hard work starts now. Um, the purpose of European Year of Volunteering was to create a more enabling environment for volunteering. The reason most people say for not volunteering when asked is that they haven't been asked. So in some respects, that's the biggest challenge, to, to get to a stage where everyone feels they, they are being asked, you know, that there's something for them to give. We're here now in another one of Gertha's charity shops. This time we're in Capel Street in Dublin uh, and with me is the manager, Sharon Lamb. Sharon, tell me about the volunteers, um, the, how many volunteers you have here and how they help uh, contribute to the success of the shop. Well, we have six volunteers. We have three now at the minute. And um, they just bring in, the customers come in to see them and all, and they help me put up the clothes and they steam downstairs and all that. Tell yeah. me about the kind of things that you can sell and maybe are there some things you can't sell? Well, we can sell electric goods, but we, people bring in stuff and like jeans to be ripped. We can sell um, ripped jeans or else if they're all bad, like if the clothes is bad, people to throw them out and they shouldn't because we can recycle them yes. and still get money for Gorta with them. You know? And as well as clothes, what other things do you welcome? Uh, DVDs, videos. Yeah. Shoes, handbags, accessories, jewellery, all things like that, okay. Brian. Well, Yvonne mentioned that the greatest inhibitor in terms of people not getting involved is simply because people aren't asked. Uh, at Gertha, we always welcome new volunteers. Almost a billion people go hungry every day. So there are a lot of people hungry, but there are a lot of ways that people can help. If you're somebody who feels that you can help, please get in touch with us at our head office by calling Dublin 661 5522 or by checking out our website, that's www.gurtha.org. Thank you.